so this has been a long time coming a lot of you have asked me how did i make notes for my j preparation and how should you make notes for your j preparation and that is exactly going to be the topic of today's video all right so if you are not subscribed to the channel and not notified then please turn the notifications on and subscribe i'm not saying this for the sake of subscribers i'm saying this so that more of such videos can come to you and you can get some real honest guidance for your j preparation so let's start so i will divide notes into three types of categories okay so the first type of category would be your short notes okay now these are not your full length notes these are basically notes where you use them for last time revision or when you want a very quick revision of your uh, syllabus okay so i personally used to make these kinds of notes in class 11th and i made approximately maybe 60% of notes of class 11th and 12th in a small booklet which i had okay now the problem with that was that i didn't finish them okay i was too lazy to make all the short notes and i made only some short notes of maybe 50 to 60% syllabus however those few short notes were very useful to me during my last time revision and when i was just doing revision for tests okay so it is a bit uh, you know you don't really like making short notes i didn't like them i was too lazy but those short number of notes which i made really helped me out a lot so if you can find out the time make sure that you make very short notes of every chapter right after you finish it and try to do this for all the chapters that will be really good okay uh, now what you should do this uh, what you should do here is that for every chapter you can make maybe one or two pages of notes okay so take a a4 size sheet and on both sides you can make notes maximum two pages so if you include one side it's four pages of notes maximum for every chapter and don't make it like ki bas itna itna sa font size nahi right properly okay uh, so that is what i'm saying ki after using a normal font that uh, notes should be of four pages and four pages should be for big chapters like electrostatics or for goc i'm talking about those chapter for those you can use four pages otherwise one or two pages should be more than enough okay so that should be the short notes however there's a catch you can go on academy staff there we have free short notes okay uh, you can use those free short notes uh, they are pretty much made in the same fashion as i made my notes so you can use them and i personally also used uh, so i had a booklet of short notes from some publisher which i used for the revision of the remaining 40% notes which i did not make so i would say if you are too lazy you can use academy staff and all those short notes for your revision as well however i don't recommend this i recommend that you make short notes yourself and i will explain the reason later on the next is your long notes now here also there are two or three cases nowadays so first is that you attend some kind of a live class okay you attend an online live class or you attend a offline live class okay in that case you have two options first is your teacher allows you to make notes that is the teacher himself or herself they pause during the lecture and then they tell you to take down notes one is that scenario and the other scenario is that teacher does not allow teacher himself or herself says that you know don't make notes pay attention to my class i have uh, i had such a teacher so i know that such teachers exist which tell you that you know what you can find these notes in your textbooks or in your module anyway so why are you making notes listen to it understand what i'm saying you can always read books and that is also correct okay so my first point here would be that your first task in a class is to understand what the teacher is saying okay understand what the teacher is saying especially if the teacher has explicitly told you to not make notes because if a teacher has told you this that means that he or she is relying more on the module which you already have module of your coaching or whatever it is right so whatever notes will make will be very similar to it so there is no need of making notes okay what you should be doing there is to have your textbook open and be on the same page which the teacher is teaching and on the margins you can make very small small comments okay so whenever your teacher is teaching you you will obviously have some doubt or there will be something further beyond the text which the teacher will clarify so whenever you see such a thing you will write down in the margin near to that text or for example the teacher is explaining this particular section of the chapter right then right next to the margin you will make a short comment here about anything extra the teacher has said or if you have any confusion or if you have any doubt mark a question mark and write something and then later on clear it okay so you should use your textbook in this fashion okay and then these books will become your 
main coaching uh, sorry the main reference source these will serve as your notes now if your teacher is actively allowing you to make notes or they actively ask you to make notes you should make notes uh, especially in for example in some subjects like organic chemistry you have to make notes okay that is a subject where you cannot go like acha kitab se padh lunga no no teacher i know does this so in that case write down things and there also make small small comments okay so if you write down something then write a star mark and then clarify it later make these small small comments which make your notes more important and more readable okay otherwise these things you can find in market also for 100 100 rupees you will find full uh, notes books that is not a big deal okay what your notes should be your own so your notes should be a recollection of what you studied in the lecture okay notes any random guy in kota you go for 50 50 100 rupees you will find toppers notes that is not a big deal okay what the notes are supposed to do is that you attended the lecture live now you are supposed to make a recollection of that lecture so not only are you going to write down the things which the teacher has told you you are also going to write down every confusion every quick remark everything that you learned in that lecture which is not usually contained in the books make sure you do all of this okay now another thing which you should do is that if you understand anything important or if there's something which you feel you will have a doubt later on in or if there's something which you didn't know or there's something extra something basically special then make sure that you underline it with a red pen or a whatever color you like pen okay ab yahan pe kuch log bolte hain acha red pen karna zaruri hai kya are baat hai samjho theek hai bas koi sa bhi color ka pen se aap basically you have to highlight that particular section okay now you can use a highlighter you can use a whitener you can use a blue pen you can use a red pen whatever you use but highlight sections which are important or which you feel that you need to revise later on as well or you can use star marks and all of these things as well because when you're revising in the last time you will not get the time to read your entire notes then your short notes will come useful to you and now in short notes also you cannot write everything right so whenever you see a star in your so, so let's say you are revising a chapter which has 15 notes you will quickly flip the notes and then whenever there is a star or there is an underline you will read that time so that you recollect whatever you learned which was special in that lecture everything else you already know right so this is the purpose of these stars and all now if you are going to some online course or you are studying from some youtube or any of those things i would still suggest you to make notes okay so for example a lot of students study with us at acad boost right there they have so we have all our courses are recorded you can study them any time as per your wish right so there we have provided them with notes here okay uh, on the app which any student can access okay but still if someone wants to make notes uh, we suggest them to make notes so that they can do all these star markings and all of these recollection things later because it is not possible for every student to go through the lecture again and again right so making notes can be useful okay so i hope i have clarified these things now another issue one one more thing which uh, i wanted to say i told you in the beginning of the video that even if you can get these notes from all kinds of places you should try to make notes yourself why because when you are making notes you are a listening to the teacher more attentively because you have to write things down b you are writing it down and c you are highlighting those things and d you will again read those notes back at home so all of these four things will keep on revising the syllabus in your mind okay if you just listen to the lecture and then come back home then you only did revision once right but here you are doing it four times so that is the beauty of writing short no writing notes in class so if possible you should write notes unless the teacher explicitly says ki notes nahi banane and even in that case you should do a thorough reading of your book while he is teaching and write down things that you find important in the uh, margins okay so i hope you are more clear about notes now and if you need more help for your j preparation you can always check out acad boost app or acad boost website where we have j courses for every year okay those courses have everything that you need for your j prep lectures uh practice papers with complete solution test series with complete solution notes everything you will find link is in the description okay so thank you for watching good